Hey guys, it's Saturday night, so I'm thinking about the woman I love. Just kidding, I'm thinking about oxymercuration of alkenes, which is a way to turn alkenes into alcohols. First thing I want you to remember is that this is a Markovnikov addition. The double bond's going to break open, H goes onto one of the carbons, OH goes onto the other. The OH will be attached to the carbon that is more substituted. Put another way, the carbon that already has more hydrogens gets the hydrogen, and the other one gets the OH. Okay? Let me show you how this happens, because mechanisms make me a very happy man. We have this double bond, the second bond of which, the pi bond, is the weakest and is most susceptible to attack something delta plus, like a mercury. One of the OAC ions falls off, makes ACO minus, but that doesn't really matter to me right now. What matters to me is that the double bond has broken open and attached to the mercury. What we actually have happening is a three atom ring forming, aka the mercury is connected to both carbons equally. This might remind you of how Br2 adds across a double bond. I think this is called a mercurinium ion. The other one's called a brominium ion. It's just how it goes. Long story short, it's a triangle intermediate. That should help you to remember what happens. In any case, what happens next is that we do this particular reaction with water around, and the water will backside attack one of these carbons. It actually backside attacks the carbon that is more substituted. That's why it's a Markovnikov addition. Let me add some substituents here. Let's say that this had two hydrogens. This had a hydrogen and a CH3. This carbon is more substituted, like it has, it's a secondary carbon, whereas this is just a primary carbon. It's only connected to one other. So the H2O attacks that carbon there, and the electrons from the CHG bond end up going to the HG. That results in no more fancy rings or double bonds. We simply have an HG connected to an OAC on this carbon. We have a CH3 with an OH. Now that's actually an H2O that's attached currently. And here, look at that. We've broken open the double bond. We've attached H2O to one and HGOAC to the other, which sounds pretty cool, but that's not exactly what we want. What we actually want is for us to convert this to the alcohol and for this to fall off and be replaced with hydrogen. And the ticket to make that happen is uh, NABH4 a strong reducing agent. It breaks the HGOAC off, replaces it with a hydrogen, and it helps remove this hydrogen as well. So you end up with C, this CH3, OH, and H. So again, we removed one of the H's from here, and we replace the HGOAC with a hydrogen. Yeah, NABH4 rocks my world that way. In any case, this is it, this is how it goes. Double bond breaks open to attack the mercury. You get a triangle mercurinium ion intermediate. Water backside attacks it, and then you have to reduce it with NaBH4 to get the alcohol out of it. It's a Markovnikov addition. This is the mechanism. This is oxymercuration of alkenes. Alkenes. Ha. Huh. And I am your hero. Nespa. Best of luck.